Okay, class. Let's see this question. Okay, this question is actually a locate under January 18. So if you want, you just write down. This is actually January 18. January 18. Okay, question 4A. Okay, now, look into this question. The question says, solve the following system of equations simultaneously. Okay, now, you already know that to solve simultaneously, okay, you have only two methods here. Okay, to solve simultaneously, either you want to use elimination or substitution. Okay, so you see which is the best for you to choose. Okay, which will be the um, appropriate um, methods to solve in this case. Okay, so let's go one by one. Okay, so look into this question. Okay, so obviously you got three equations here. So what you're supposed to do first? You need to name it. Okay, so the first equation as one, second equation as two, third equation as three. Okay, so just label it for step. Okay, then you will need to do the simultaneous. Okay, you need to solve it simultaneously. So for these three val variables, I will advise you to use elimination because you will get your information or your data easier. Okay, or your solving system easier. Why? Because you already know that to solve simultaneously or elimination, uh, either way, either we are using elimination or substitution, we will have only, what's the common thing here? You will have only two common variables. Okay, you must have two common variables for you to start with. Okay, so for this, how you're supposed to do? Okay, look into the things. Not necessary, you must eliminate your x first or y or z you are free enough to eliminate any of the variables that you like at the first place okay so for this let's say that you want to eliminate your 2 can it be done yes okay so what you need to do so you may need to have your second equation you may need to multiply with 2 why because 2x you minus 2x later, then you have 0. Okay, then you're able to eliminate. So, do remember fair and square. Okay, you need to expand each of the term drop on your equation. Okay, then after that, name it. So, this will be equation 4 okay so this will be equation 4 okay so after that yeah you can have 1 minus 4 or 4 minus 1 is okay okay so if you want to have 4 minus 1 do remember to write down your progress okay let's say you have 4 fourth equation minus one equation so rewrite so 2x minus 6y plus 2z equal to zero okay if some of you you may need to have one minus with four can be done also okay it's not a problem okay so one do remember you write minus right or subtraction do highlight the subtraction sign okay then your equation one so 2x plus 4y minus 4z equal to 0 okay or maybe some of you said that madam can I have 1 minus 4 yes why not okay you can have 1 minus 4 so it's not a problem okay so let's say that you want to have 1 minus 4 okay it's not a problem okay just be careful with the sequence of your of your equations that you have put in okay so no matter which equations that you choose do remember to highlight 
what is the progress that you are doing okay so same thing so 2x minus 2x 0 so 4 minus minus 6 you have 10y okay so negative 4 negative 2 so negative 6 z 0 minus 0 is still 0 hey, sorry I have careless mistake here what is this this is supposed to be 4 am I right so be careful okay so when the time you copy you need to be careful as well so after that what you need to do yes rename it so you have equation 5 okay so obviously what you can see the elimination is actually happen on the x see that okay it's actually happen on the x okay so we continue okay so means that you need to eliminate your x as well so same thing here so how your second equation now you need to multiply with 3 okay so you have 3 3x three add up with 2y eh, sorry 3 the second equation uh, x minus with 3y plus z equal 0 okay so expand in so you have 3x minus 9y add up with 3z equal 0. Okay, so this will be your equation 6. So you can have 6 minus 3. Okay, so write down your progress. 6 minus 3. Okay, so write back. 6 minus 3 what's your 3 just now? your 3 is 3x 3, 3, 2, 3, 11 3 2 3, 11 ok you have 3, 2, 3, 11 Okay. Oops. Okay. So underline it. Okay. Then three minus three is zero. Okay. So negative nine minus two y. You have. This is negative eleven y. Okay. So three minus three. You have zero. So again, you have negative eleven here okay so well y will be negative 11 over negative 11 so you have 1 okay so this will be the first variables that you have so is it correct how you supposed to do okay just before that uh, let me share with you okay I will advise you class Every time you have your equation with three variables, okay, first thing in your mind, get your calculator out, okay? Then go for equation, you go for A, B, C, D because you have um, the variables on the, the non homogeneous on the right, okay? You press 2, okay? Key in all the coefficient, you have 2, 4, negative 4. Then 4. They have 1, negative 3, 1, 0. Okay, then you have 3, 2, 3, 11. Okay, so you check. Okay, you check. 2, 4, negative 4, 4. 1, 1, negative 3, 1, 0. So three two three eleven. Okay, so correct. Okay, so if that's the case, so what's your x? X is two, y is one, z is one, okay? Two one one. So your first variable that you obtain, your y is equal to one. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. 
Okay, it is correct. So it means that your answer is correct. So if possible, you just drag to the last part, okay, and write down your answer, okay. Just write your x equal to, oh sorry, your x equal to two one one, okay, two one one. Just write your answer towards the end, okay. Then continue. So this is your equation seven, okay. So you can solve for your y already, right? Yes. So what you need to do, you just need to substitute the seven into five. Okay. So you have ten one six z equal to four. Negative set z equal to four minus ten. Right. Okay, so you got negative six. So your z is equal to one, right? Okay. So what else? Okay, you have um. So you can substitute into which one easier? Uh, the second one easier, right? Because you have the typical x. Okay, so what you need to do? So just substitute, substitute seven and eight into two. So you have x. Wait, uh, let me see the equation. X negative three one. X. Negative three one. Okay. Your y is one. Your z is one. So x minus three plus one. So x negative two. Okay. So your x equal to two. So and don't forget, you must always have the conclusion at the end of the story so that's the answer for this solution okay please have a try thank you